What does this sign mean? A. No goods vehicles under 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. B. No goods vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. C. No goods vehicles over 7.5 meters overall height. D. No goods vehicle under 7.5 meters overall height. The correct answer is B. No goods vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. What does this temporary sign mean for drivers of vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass? A. Use either the left hand or middle lane. B. Use only the left hand lane. C. Use only the middle lane. D. Use any lane. The correct answer is B. Use only the left hand lane. In England and Wales, what's the national speed limit on a single carriageway road for a rigid lorry with NAR maximum authorized mass of more than 7.5 tons? A. 30 miles per hour. B. 40 miles per hour. C. 50 miles per hour. D. 60 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 50 miles per hour. You're driving a lorry with a maximum authorized mass of more than 7.5 tons along a three lane motorway. When may you use the right hand lane? A. To overtake slower lorries. B. When the left hand lane is closed. C. If you drive at more than 60 miles per hour. D. If you're traveling unladen. The correct answer is B. When the left hand lane is closed. Where are you most likely to ground a low loader? A. On rural roads. B. On traffic calming humps. C. On yellow rumble strips. D. On hatched road markings. The correct answer is B. On traffic calming humps. You're driving a low loader and you see this sign. What's your main concern at this hazard? A. The ground clearance. B. The weight limit. C. The height limit. D. The load security. The correct answer is A. The ground clearance. You're driving a vehicle that's over 17 meters, 55 feet, long. What should you do at a level crossing? A. Cross over using your horn and hazard warning lights. B. Stop before the crossing and phone the signal operator. C. Increase your speed to clear the crossing quickly. D. Stop before the crossing and look both ways before going on. The correct answer is B. Stop before the crossing and phone the signal operator. What type of fastening or restraint should you use when carrying a load of steel? A chains. B. Straps. C. 
Ropes. D. Sheeting. The correct answer is A. Chains. You're driving a lorry carrying a load that's 4.5 meters, 14 feet 9 inches, wide. What's the maximum speed you're allowed to drive on a motorway? A. 10 miles per hour. B. 20 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. D. 40 miles per hour. The correct answer is D. 40 miles per hour. What's the speed limit on a dual carriageway when you're carrying a load that's 4.5 meters, 14 feet 9 inches, wide? A. 15 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. D. 45 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 35 miles per hour. What color are the markings on the rear of lorries over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass? A. Red slash white. B. Red slash yellow. C. Black slash yellow. D. Black slash white. The correct answer is B. Red slash yellow. When this vehicle transporter turns, how will the overhanging top deck move? A. Through a greater arc than the cab. B. Through a lower arc than the cab. C. Through a smaller arc than the cab. D. Through the same arc as the cab. The correct answer is A. Through a greater arc than the cab. Your LTHE driver of an articulated car transporter. How will the overhanging top deck move as you turn corners? A. Through a smaller arc than the cab. B. Through a shorter arc than the cab. C. Through a lower arc than the cab. D. Through a greater arc than the cab. The correct answer is D. Through a greater arc than the cab. When would the driver of a car transporter need to be most aware of the front overhang of the trailer? A. When overtaking. B. When turning. C. When loading. D. When braking. The correct answer is B. When turning. You're scheduled to make a delivery. You arrive at your destination during the morning rush hour. The road is edged with double red lines. What do they mean? A. Unload only within a white box area. B. Unload only within a red box area. C. Delay your delivery until after the rush hour. D. Limit your stop to a maximum of 30 minutes. The correct answer is A. Unload only within a white box area. 
you're driving the lorry with a maximum authorized mass of more than 7.5 tons. What's the national speed limit for your vehicle on a dual carriageway in England and Wales? A. 40 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 60 miles per hour. D. 70 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 60 miles per hour. Which axle configuration is most effective at preventing petrol tankers from rolling over? A. Tandem axles with double wheels. B. Tandem axles with air suspension. C. Tri axles with single wheels. D. Tri axles with double wheels. The correct answer is C. Tri axles with single wheels. What warning does the driver of a petrol tanker have that rear wheel lift is about to become roll over? A. The steering becomes heavy. B. The driver has very little warning. C. The air pressure drops. D. The diff lock engages. The correct answer is B. The driver has very little warning. What effect could a load of hanging meat carcasses cause when you drive around corners or bends? A. The wave effect. B. The camber effect. C. The gravity effect. D. The pendulum effect. The correct answer is D. The pendulum effect. Why do many drivers park at overnight stops with their rear doors close to another lorry? A. To keep the load safe. B. To ensure a clear path. C. To keep same company lorries together. D. To stop the theft of their fuel. The correct answer is A. To keep the load safe. What marking should be fitted to a lorry with a maximum authorized mass of more than 7,500 kilograms? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is C. How far can a load overhang at the rear before you must use projection marker boards? A. 1 meter, 3 feet 3 inches. B. 1.5 meters, 5 feet 0 inches. C. 2 meters, 6 feet 6 inches. D. 2.9 meters, 9 feet 5 inches. The correct answer is C. 2 meters, 6 feet 6 inches. When must you notify telephone companies that you're moving a high load? A. When the load's height exceeds 4.00 meters, 13 feet. B. When the load's height exceeds 4.30 meters, 14 feet 2 inches. C. When the load's height exceeds 5.00 meters, 16 feet 6 inches. D. When the load's height exceeds 5.25 meters, 17 feet 6 inches.
The correct answer is D. When the load's height exceeds 5.25 meters, 17 feet 6 inches. How wide can a load be before you must use side markers? A. 2.0 meters, 6 feet 6 inches. B. 2.9 meters, 9 feet 5 inches. C. 3.5 meters, 11 feet 5 inches. D. 4.3 meters, 14 feet 2 inches. The correct answer is B. 2.9 meters, 9 feet 5 inches. Triangular projection markers are required when your load is wider than 2.9 meters, 9 feet 5 inches. What color are these markers? A. Black slash yellow. B. Red slash yellow. C. Black slash white. D. Red slash white. The correct answer is D. Red slash white. How should you secure an ISO steel cargo container onto your vehicle or trailer? A. Using buttons and chocks. B. Using straps. C. Using twist locks. D. Using ropes. The correct answer is C. Using twist locks. You're driving an articulated lorry on a narrow road. There's a left hand bend ahead. Why may you need to move out before driving around the bend? A. To leave more room for braking. B. To prevent anyone from overtaking. C. To make room for the trailer cutting in. D. To make sure oncoming drivers see you. The correct answer is C. To make room for the trailer cutting in. What does this sign mean? A. Two axles trailers are prohibited. B. The bridge is too narrow for vehicles over 7.5 tons. C. The bridge has an axle weight limit of 7.5 tons. D. Vehicles over the weight shown are prohibited. The correct answer is D. Vehicles over the weight shown are prohibited. What does this sign mean? A. Slippery road. B. Double bend. C. Overheated electrified cable. D. Cable laying ahead. The correct answer is C. Overheated electrified cable. What does this sign mean? A. No vehicles over 14 feet 6 inches, 4.4 meters, wide. B. No vehicles over 14 feet 6 inches, 4.4 meters, high. C. Road humps 14 feet 6 inches, 4.4 meters, apart. D. No vehicles over 14 feet 6 inches, 4.4 meters, long. The correct answer is B. No vehicles over 14 feet 6 inches, 4.4 meters, high. What does this sign warn of? A. Low bridge ahead. B. 
Incident ahead. C. Tunnel ahead. D. Accident hotspot ahead. The correct answer is C. Tunnel ahead. What does this sign mean? A. The length of a tunnel. B. The length of a low bridge. C. The distance to a tunnel. D. The distance to a low bridge. The correct answer is C. The distance to a tunnel. When must you take extra care if you're driving a vehicle more than 3.0 meters, 10 feet, high? A. When driving over narrow bridges. B. When driving up steep hills. C. When driving near airports. D. When driving under overhead cables. The correct answer is D. When driving under overhead cables. What's the minimum height of an unmarked bridge? A. 4.5 meters, 15 feet. B. 4.7 meters, 15 feet, 6 inches. C. 4.8 meters, 16 feet. D. 5.0 meters, 16 feet, 6 inches. The correct answer is D. 5.0 meters, 16 feet 6 inches. Who must you tell when your vehicle collides with a bridge? A. The police. B. The local authority. C. Your local garage. D. The fire service. The correct answer is A. The police. Your vehicle has collided with a railway bridge. What information must you give the railway authority when you telephone them? A. The make and model of your vehicle. B. The type of bridge. C. The vehicle's height. D. The bridge number. The correct answer is D. The bridge number. What do bells hanging across the road warn drivers of? A. Weight restriction ahead. B. Trams crossing ahead. C. Overhead electric cables ahead. D. Railway level crossing ahead. The correct answer is C. Overhead electric cables ahead. What does this sign mean? A. The width of the road is feet 6 inches, 2 meters. B. No vehicles over 6 feet 6 inches, 2 meters wide. C. No vehicles over 6 feet 6 inches, 2 meters high. D. Trailer length must not exceed 6 feet 6 inches, 2 meters. The correct answer is B. No vehicles over 6 feet 6 inches, 2 meters wide. What does this motorway sign mean? A. 11 tons weight limit. B. Stop. 
All lanes ahead closed. C. Leave the motorway at the next exit. D. Lane ahead closed. The correct answer is D. Lane ahead closed. You're driving on a motorway and you see this sign. What does it mean? A. End of restriction. B. End of crawler lane. C. End of weight limit. D. End of hard shoulder. The correct answer is A. End of restriction. In which of these places might there be a restriction on vehicles over a certain length? A. On motorways. B. At freight terminals. C. In road tunnels. D. On dual carriageways. The correct answer is C. In road tunnels. At this roundabout, you want to take the fourth exit. What limit is in force on this road? A. Height. B. Weight. C. Width. D. Length. The correct answer is A. Height You're driving a large vehicle on a narrow road with passing places. What will you need to be most aware of? A. Its length B. Its roof height C. Its ground clearance D. Its weight The correct answer is A. Its length. What type of road surface will increase your stopping distance by up to 10 times? A. Bumpy. B. Icy. C. Worn. D. Wet. The correct answer is B. Icy. By how much can your stopping distance increase in icy weather? A. Two times. B. Four times. C. Ten times. D. Twenty times. The correct answer is C. 10 times. What's the maximum speed allowed for a vehicle towing a trailer on a motorway? A. 40 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 60 miles per hour. D. 70 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 60 miles per hour. What should you check when you've just overtaken a motorcyclist on a motorway? A. Your speedometer. B. Your left hand mirror. C. Your right hand mirror. D. The road ahead. The correct answer is B. Your left-hand mirror. 
You're driving a large vehicle in a straight line. When is it most stable? A. Durning harsh acceleration. B. Durning gentle braking. C. Durning gentle acceleration. D. Durning harsh braking. The correct answer is C. Durning gentle acceleration. What does this sign mean? A. Warning of lorry crossing a one-way road. B. No entry for vehicles over 32 feet 6 inches, 9.9 .9 meters, long. C. No entry for vehicles over 32.6 tons. D. Warning of lorry straight ahead. The correct answer is B. No entry for vehicles over 32 feet 6 inches, 9.9 .9 meters, long. You're driving a long vehicle. What should you do when you want to turn right at a painted mini roundabout? A. Make sure none of your wheels touch the roundabout. B. Avoid going over the roundabout if possible. C. Go ahead and turn right at the next junction. D. Carefully mount the left-hand curb to make more room. The correct answer is B. Avoid going over the roundabout if possible.